my name is Stacey Murnahan and we're here today in the Funky Feet Studios in Dundalk. We've been here for 10 years now and it's like a second home to myself and all the students at Funky Feet. I got involved in the performing arts from a very young age when I was three. Um, I wanted to do Irish dance classes and my mum got in touch with Mona Ruddy, the Mona Ruddy School of Dance. It's still going today and very popular here in Dundalk and um, she said I was too young but my mum said, please, she really wants to go. And she brought me down and I walked in. I didn't even say goodbye to my mum. The door closed and the teacher said, just wait there because she'll probably be out in a wee second and I didn't want to leave the place ever. So from, I was three years old, I had a passion for Irish dancing and I'd done that up until I was 11. And unfortunately, when I was 11, I had to stop due to an injury and um, cried for days. I did not want to stop. Um, and after that, um, a couple of months later, Rosemary Winkler started Youth Groove and I knew Rosemary from the Musical Society. I had done one or two Musical Society, society pantos when I was younger and got involved with Rosemary there. And it wasn't long doing Youth Groove at Rosemary when I realised that I loved teaching and kind of pushed myself and asked Rosemary for opportunities as to where I could help out with the younger ones. And then from there, I started teaching the younger ones and growing my experience that way. While I was looking for colleges online, I came across an advertisement that said, would you like to perform in the West End? And obviously, me looking at that question, the answer was a big fat yes. And um, what I had to do was I had to get a group of 10 people together and we had to send over an audition. And then I knew of a few other people um, who I had known over the years who had a passion for dance and we came together and I choreographed a piece and we sent it over and we were accepted. We'd done some fundraising to make that a possible for us all and while we were fundraising dancing in shopping centres or doing different things people would often come up to me and ask where is this dance group can my child start what days are the rehearsals etc and that was where Funky Feet was born. I went on and I done um, completed an honours degree in dance in the University of Ulster and after that I went over to America for three months and done some training over there and shortly after that when I came home um, the lady who was in charge of this building at that, at that time she owned the building she was looking to make it into a dance studio and approached me and asked what would I need can you help me design it what exactly is required and would we be interested in becoming tenants here and that was exactly what we were looking for. It was exactly what we needed. And it was from then that Funky Feet kind of moved from being a once a week type of a thing to a four or five, depending if there's a competition or not, sometimes seven day a week type of a thing, because we had the facility to do it then. So this year, um, obviously with COVID, it has been a big struggle for myself and for all of our pupils at Funky Feet. Um, we were lucky in the sense that we had our big um, yearly showcase the very weekend just before we all went into lockdown, but we had been working extremely hard for the All Ireland, which was due to take place that very weekend. And we're still waiting for that to happen. It hasn't happened yet, but we were fingers crossed it's going to happen soon. Um, and since March, we have been totally pretty much shut down the whole way right through until the summer. In the summer, we did manage to do a summer camp, not here. We had to use a different center um, at the time, but we were able to do the summer camp and it was all very safe and worked out really positive for everyone. And then in September, we were hoping to start back alongside the schools because initially when the schools closed, we were told we had to close and we were following the same guidelines given to schools. So we were positive for September. Positive for September. We thought we would have got back but the rules changed again for us and we had two weeks started and then we were shut down again. And at that stage, we um, decided to try Zoom with the online classes. Over the first lockdown, all the, there's over 500 dance performing arts, singers, um, drama teachers all came together and created the Performing Arts Educators of Ireland. So we had kind of been talking and helping each other out and giving different people ideas and seeing how we could make this work as best as possible for us. So we decided we would try Zoom and give it a go. So from September up until now, pretty much, we have been doing the Zoom classes. Antoine Arts Centre is a saviour for us in the sense that we, there is no other facility in Dundalk or anywhere close by that we would be able to put on our end of year productions. We try to do two a year, we try to do one in the summer and also at Christmas. Um, it's not always possible depending on competitions, 
but it is somewhere where the children can go and show off to their family and friends. They can, it's a massive confidence boost for all the children. So what we would say is we sometimes have children come in and they're not 100% confident in themselves. The parents are like, will I keep sending them? And what I always say to them is let them do their first show and then see, and see when the children get on the stage. It's a game changer for them. And that's what the Cent Antoine Art Centre is for us. Um, it gives us exactly what we need and it's perfect in that sense.